Hello everyone and welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society, The Emperor's Challenge, Expert Archaeologist, Expert Athlete. Let's see what we are up to now. Uh, we have spent our resources for this particular overworld map. Indeed. Let's choose a new location to go to, shall we? Let me turn down my personal sound here a little bit. There we go. There we go. Much better. Okay, let's see. Where do, would we like to go? Uh, we already been to the Irish Isles, uh, Hungarian Fort, Molly Mystery, and Caribbean Island. Now, the Caribbean Island is going to be the best place for science, as we can see. Nature and technique challenges, lots to study for research. Or, there is Molly Mystery. Lots of gold, good for rogues, good for athletes, and good for beguilers. Now, we do have our athlete, of course. Right here, right here. We have a quick thinker, we have an archaeologist, and we have a survivalist. So I am tempted to go to here, even though we don't have an engineer or a rogue. So those technique challenges are not going to be helpful. Um, monkeys and smugglers will oppose you. Smugglers tend to be aggressive. Monkeys tend to be devious. We will be good against aggressive. We will be bad against devious. But we're... Uh, we're really bad against friendly, and there shouldn't be anyone friendly here. So, this is probably the place to go. Let's do it. Revelo does get a point. I'm sure he'll use happy at that uh, total of three that he has. You know, very impressive. Don't don't let don't let that get you down, Revelo. I believe in your ability to uh, to fail here. Definitely. And finally, we can start our search for Roche's treasure. Uh, oh, one second. I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Just realized I had um, a voice message on my phone. It was my parents wondering if I'm still alive. They're never quite sure, you know. <laughs> I, I'm i really bad at keeping uh, in touch with people. And uh, they, they tend to worry. They were very happy when I got married originally because my wife is a type A personality who is uh, a very, very much feels guilty if she does not uh, make sure she keeps in touch with her family, even though she doesn't get along very well with them. And, uh, you know, she has that sort of guilt associated with that. So she goes a long way for making sure that I also keep in touch with my family. Um, <laughs> and they like that. They're, they're, they're very happy that, um, that she reminds me to uh, let them know that I'm still alive every once in a while. <laughs> okay. Did not quite finish off this last gal here, but we'll do it next turn, no big deal. I would like to uh, get Mood Switcher, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any possibility of doing so. Uh, there's no way that this character is going to take two hits uh, to die unless I miss a friendly attack. Ooh, you know what? That is an option. If we miss this friendly attack, we could switch over to a friendly... Never mind. We did not miss the friendly attack. Uh, oh well. Yeah, that was worth a try. Why not? You know, why not? Why not try for it? Okay, let's move along. There is a technique challenge here. Again, we're not good at technique challenges, so let's just let's just move on it further into the island and look for stuff that we will be better at. A challenge, an encounter, I should say. Ah, a small hill you need to cross, and the Kiwi orders the crew to walk in formation. Someone who's the lost should lead, and someone strong should be in the rear. Okay, so Kiwi will lead. She's our survivalist, definitely. And uh, in the rear, probably Dolores would be good. After an hour, Kiwi calls a halt for a quick break, and it then becomes apparent that Dolores is missing. Nobody's seen or heard from her in a while. What do you do? We're going to go try to uh, find her, definitely. And there we go. Very nice. Kiwi as a survivalist is very good at that. Uh, however, meanwhile, Dolores stands up after slipping all the way down from where they were walking earlier. It's important to find the rest of the crew as soon as possible. There seems to be only one way towards where you came from. Let's take it. 
But we find a blue monkey. He uh, does not need backup from his monkey friends to take on a single human. Uh, he is very wrong, but he thinks that. Dolores is more than capable of taking care of herself. Thank you very much. Uh, she is actually capable of getting a motion spreader. We could we could attempt for that. Let's see, how far can this monkey go? Eh, not very. We'll go ahead and move up here. I mean, it's somewhat of a risk to waste a turn on a confident attack, especially if we missed. Um, but let's go ahead and try. Let's try for a motion spreader. Nice. Okay. That did make him confident, but he is a devious character. And, uh, and actually starting a friendly gives us a little bit of speech defense, so that's not bad. Yep, took very little damage from that. Very nice. And uh, we can probably just finish off this monkey now with an aggressive attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We don't need to be uh, devious for any particular reason here. There we go. Nice, four encounter tokens, pretty good. Dolores is usually more of a team player, but handling the situation really gives a confidence boost. Being alone in the jungle is dangerous, Dolores makes haste to find the others. Yeah, no problem here. 30% from built up odds, which is great. And Dolores finally finds the road you took before and is soon reunited with the rest of the crew. Very nice. And Dolores got a uh, small bonus for resolving that conflict aggressively, which is kind of cool. All right. We should check this out. We definitely want to check this out. So let's just do that in order. Oh, a epic encounter. You find a huge tree that towers above the canopy of the deep jungle. One crew member could climb it and see what's up there. Many things can be found in jungle canopies, but you can expect physical challenges, biological data, or hidden bounties. Um, Dolores? Yeah, okay. We'll let Dolores do it. Dolores climbs parts that require great strength. Okay, sure. A rare discovery. Deep in the clutch of a large tree, Dolores spots two eggs and a dead Amazon bird. Imperial Amazon bird. The poor bird probably died from a disease spread by smugglers. Uh, we save the eggs. Okay. Oh, gain a treasure. Amazon eggs. Nice. One treasure hunt or six study. We'll go ahead and take the six study. We are focusing on that, after all. And get a few more study from looking at the canopy. And we'll take our leave. Ah, the hundred year fruit. Blowing in fruit takes more than a hundred years to grow to the size. Surrounding the fruit is a barrel of monkeys, performing a ritual never witnessed before. A naturalist would be interested in studying the ritual, but uh, we don't really have a good one. So we risk losing the 100 year fruit if we do this 54% chance. It's probably smarter to just take the fruit. Almost assuredly smarter. Yeah, okay. That is the correct choice. And six study, sure. That's what we would have gotten if we'd succeeded the challenge anyway, so hey. Now we do have a, uh, a nature challenge here. We also have this epic encounter. This is undoubtedly the uh, the Titan Ape. The Titan Ape is difficult to take out with a devious crew because he is immune to, I believe, Terrify is the one he's immune to. Fortunately, only one of our members has that as their, as their main damage source. Um... Kiwi focuses on Enrage, Minyoung focuses on Sadness, and uh, Dolores is the one who focuses on Terrify, so she would not be as helpful. Uh, we do have four Resolve. We could risk it. How are our defenses looking? Dolores is really, really defensive. All right. Yeah, we'll risk it. Dolores can probably tank it for us. You spot a big shadow jump away further into the woods. It looked very big and intimidating. All right, we'll take a risk. Now the main uh, problem we're going to have is getting rid of all the little monkeys that start the adventure next to the, or start the uh, counter next to the Titan Ape. We don't have a very good AOE for taking them all out at once, which is how I typically like to deal with them. Uh, so we are gonna have to worry about that. Uh, let's see here. There is a spot here where we can hit three of them and I should get either Dolores or Kiwi in there. Preferably Dolores because uh, she is a little bit tankier, but Kiwi will do more damage, so there is a there is a risk or a, a there is a rationale there, and I think I am going to use Kiwi here. Uh, we'll check Dolores and see if she can one shot. She cannot. Um, we could buff Dolores's speech first. That might make it strong enough. But again, we talked about the Titan Ape is immune to terrify, so. 
No, let's just get Kiwi in here. Now, it does mean that she is almost certainly going to get hit by the Titanape next turn. Um, the Titanape is currently enraged. We'd like him to be terrified, but we can't. Uh, alternatively... Ooh, that can almost one-shot. I was hoping it would one-shot that monkey. That as well will almost one-shot. Can we get Dolores up here for a buff? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, but it's confident. Never mind. Let's just smack the Titanape. That's actually decent damage. I'm surprised how much that does. Uh, he has reduced armor right now from being enraged. Right. That is helping. I would like to, uh, to take out this monkey. So let's go ahead and risk this chance. Just do a little extra. Yep, good. Excellent. So, Kiwi is going to get hit this turn by the Titanape. Hopefully she can survive one hit. Or he'll buff himself. That works too. He decided to go confident. That is cool. We will uh, start working on him. Enrage him again if we can. Would be nice. Close, but no cigar. Uh, Dolores will smack him once again. I should have done it in the opposite order. I should have saddened him first. Then enraged him. Then smacked him. That would have been the way to do it. I will endeavor to do that in the future. Okay, Sadden's just as good as uh, Excited in this case, so we'll just Sadden him. It doesn't actually help us very much, it just lowers his speech. He's not going to be using speech, but uh, we'll try to do that a little bit better in the future. At least he's not confident. And he did attack Dolores, which is who we wanted him to attack, so that is nice. Alright, bring Kiwi in for an Enrage. That will lower his armor. Then smack him again with Dolores. Good damage on that. Very nice. And then I think I'll use Minyoung to uh, heal Dolores. I think that's probably the better choice. Ooh, doesn't actually heal for very much. I'm surprised how little that does. Uh, it's still the right choice, though. Because that is just enough healing to keep Dolores alive if she gets hit again. Just like that. Now, he all made the difference, so I'm glad I did that. Oh, uh, the monkey gun range. Wow. Okay. We probably can take out the Titan Ape this turn. Um, we will see here. I can get Kiwi in here. Uh, yeah, I should probably just use physical attacks. I think that's going to be our best chance of getting him down this turn. We definitely want that. Doesn't mean we switch over to aggressive, no big deal. We're fine with that. Very nice. And there he goes. So we didn't get Mood Switcher, that's alright. I was more worried about not losing any resolve, and we did not. We played that perfectly. Or at least well enough that we didn't lose anything, which is good. The Titan Ape is broken and defeated, you capture the Ape with relative ease, and we get the amazing Titan Ape. Ooh, now unfortunately we did resolve it aggressive, so uh... We only have options here for aggressive rewards, which we don't want. But plus one research from study is pretty good. Um, not not bad at all. I mean, six study is better just at the moment. But overall, this is probably a pretty good buff. Okay, what now? Another fight? Sure. We do want to go to nature challenges as soon as we can uh, because we have Kiwi as our leader. So that will give us extra supplies. We need to keep that in mind. Nature challenges are are worth food to us as well. Uh, ooh, I think I might just stick around and wait for them to get a little closer here. We'll buff two of our members up a little bit. There we go. Oh, they did not move very far at all. They're they're a little scared. A little bit scared. Alright, um... Well, Min Young can come in here and get one at least. Ooh, not enough damage to uh, kill though. Uh, ooh, cannot quite hit both. Nope, cannot quite hit both from that angle. Uh, can I hit them both from here? No, I'm too far back. Well, that's sad. I would really like to hit both of them. Uh, they had to position just 
perfectly out of range. Got it. I actually got it. <laughs> uh, I knew people were watching were gonna be like, why does he keep trying? It's obvious it's not gonna work. Nope, there was an angle where it just barely hit both of them. Oh, I didn't get the efficient though. I had to hit three. That was not gonna happen. There's no way. Okay, go up here, and we'll just hang out. Wait for next turn. Okay, let's see. Bring Kiwi up. Actually, weak to enrage. That's interesting. And finish her off. That'll be it. That'll be good. Some nice encounter. Not bad. All right, let's uh, let's move along. We do want to get to, like I mentioned, do want to get to those um, supplies if we can, or those nature challenges for supplies. And we've got a couple options here, which is great. Let's take a look at our campfire. We really want Min Young's campfire story. Too bad, did not get it. We did get Kiwis. Scavenger is interesting. A level four survivalist who gains one supplies on survival spins, but we don't have a level four survivalist yet. Ultimate Athlete is great. We're definitely holding on to that. I will probably play a Kiwi's story. And I should probably hold on to, to Survivalist. Or to Scavenger. I really should. I want to get to Min Young's story, so I'm reluctant to, though. Alright, let's play Talented Scout. We will leave this. We'll let that go away. Kiwi's gone missing again. The girl can't sit still for one moment. Always on the run. Dolores is grateful she doesn't like coffee, or else adventures will be intolerable. After a good hour of waiting at the camp, Kiwi comes back out of breath. It looks like she had a good run, and she found some supplies. Thank you, Kiwi. The crew was worried, and uh, Min Young does not like things that don't go in an orderly way, so she is upset about it. This tension will surely cause trouble in the future. Indeed. I like Kiwi. She is a handful, indeed. That is true. But, uh... She always comes back with uh, with good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. A Spanish fort lies in front of an almost impassable jungle. Do we find a way around, or do we investigate for a passage? Uh, should we try to investigate? Yeah, I mean, Young's really good at look at all of that resources, uh, all those resources. Uh, because she succeeds on an archaeologist challenge, she gets plus three extra study now. Uh, the crew learns about the fort's fascinating history. All right. And move along, and we'll get some more supplies. A branch hanging over a chasm requires the possibility, or gives the possibility, to take a shortcut. A kiwi can do that as a survivalist. Very nice. Lots of supplies. We're back up to almost full, actually, which is cool. Uh, there is a trader here, but I don't think they have anything I care about. Let's go. We're actually fine on supplies now, so let's go over here. A group of monkeys led by a blue monkey is bullying another barrel. Sadly for you, the blue monkey notices you and tries to assert his dominance over you as well, and that is not going to work. We are going to insult him back. Now speaking of, uh, this is back to one of the first things I said when I started this episode, actually. Um, speaking of personality types, uh, you know, I mentioned my wife is what I would consider to be a, a strong type A personality. I think she, she agrees with that as well. Uh, and I'm definitely more of a B personality. You know, I tend to like to uh, keep to myself. I like to go home and read. I like to go home and play games. Um, I am not comfortable at parties. I, I don't like going to bars. I don't, for one thing, I don't drink. Not not for any special reason, but just because I don't like the taste of alcohol and never have gotten the taste for it. <laughs> the, uh... So, this is the only I've run into. <clears throat> I've run into this for several things. Uh, allow me to, uh, to uh, um, uh, you know, give an example situation here. Someone goes, oh, you want to go drinking? Uh, no, thank you. I don't drink. You know, not, and I'll usually specify, not for any religious reason, not because I'm against it, just because 
I don't have anything. And there's nothing that I that I enjoy the taste of in the alcohol spectrum. <laughs> you know, I find alcohol to be very strong. Oh, well, you know, there's X, this drink that, you know, it doesn't taste at all like alcohol, even though it has a bunch in it. Like, you could definitely drink that. It's like, yeah, I could, but why? Like, I don't have any particular reason to want to drink. So, I mean, I'm sure there are drinks that I could enjoy that don't taste like they have alcohol, but is there any good reason to do that if I don't like like doing it to begin with? And no one really ever has a good answer for that. It's like, you know, most people drink because they enjoy it. Um, uh, you know, for various reasons. I'm, I'm not going to try to judge why. There are various reasons that people enjoy drinking, right? It's a thing. I have never learned to enjoy drinking because I don't like the taste of alcohol. And while there are drinks that don't taste very strongly of alcohol, the I don't see the reason to basically find excuses to imbibe alcohol. Not because it's a bad thing to do, but just because if you don't want to, then why do it? it, it I, and I run into the exact same problem with coffee. I do not drink coffee. I don't. I like the taste of coffee, but I do not like hot drinks, uh, and so I've never been fond of coffee. And every time this comes up, including my wife, who is a very, very happily, a very happily addicted to coffee person. Uh, oh, draw, we did lose a resolve there. This happens all the time. Exact same problem, right? Oh, I don't like coffee. Oh, but there's this drink you could get that doesn't taste at all like coffee, even though it has coffee in it. It's like, well, why would I drink it then? Like, <laughs> why? I'm not looking for excuses to put caffeine in my body. I mean, if I need caffeine, that's one thing. And if I do, I can sometimes have a problem with that because I do kind of have to go with, like, sodas, which is not the best, obviously. Um, or energy drinks, which I, which I don't drink, but that's the other option, right? It's like, yes, I can understand that a lot of people like to drink coffee because it is an easy source of caffeine. And as you drink it, you do develop a taste for it. Definitely. 100%. Um, but I have really no desire to get to the point where I need to have a cup of coffee every morning. Uh, that just... It's not a, a problem I want to have, right? Uh, you, you always see those sort of... They're sort of jokes, but they're sort of true. Where someone wakes up and they're like, I can't function until I've had a cup of coffee. It's like... But that couldn't have been true before you started drinking coffee, right? I mean, you've gotten to the stage now where your body needs that caffeine in order to get, you know, to a point where you can function. Uh, if, if I don't have to get to that stage, I don't want to. People are always like, oh, but we can, we can wean you onto coffee by starting you on drinks that don't taste very strongly of coffee, and then getting to something that does. It's like, but I like the taste of coffee. Like, I like coffee-flavored things. I like coffee-flavored... I like tiramisu. I like coffee-flavored candies. They're great. I like the flavor of coffee. I just don't like coffee itself. Not because of the flavor, because it is a hot beverage. Um, and I don't see any reason to to gain an appreciation for hot beverages just so I can enjoy coffee. That's just, I don't know, that's not worth it to me. I'll just drink water, which is what I drink a lot of anyway. I drink a lot of water. I also drink a lot of um, carbonated fruit juices. Like, uh, I love sparkling cider. Sparkling apple cider? Great. I drink a lot of that. Uh, the rope is not long enough to get to the bottom of the cave. The cave becomes more rugged, and you need to find a path to work on your way down. Hey, Kiwi's good at that. Sure. Kiwi navigates cave walls like a true pathfinding expert. The crew makes it to the bottom of the cave safely, avoiding loose stones and pitfalls. A waterfall plunges into a curious underground lake. Apart from that, you don't see much. It would be wise to do some research. A naturalist might know what to look for. Well, Minyoung will do her best. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Minyoung will do as good as she can. And she made it. Very nice. A slight luminescence, the rejuvenating smell, Minyoung is sure that the cave is different. Minyoung takes a sample and tests it. The hypothesis was correct. This is a fabled lake of life. The story goes it could heal any disease. Minyoung assures the crew that this is a load of bull. It can merely heal any bacterial disease. But still, free treasure, lots of study. Ooh. Um, gain one discovery for each resolve. That is pretty nice. Alright. Uh, so yeah, so so long story short there, and and I'm not trying to be overly preachy or anything, definitely not. But that is very good for our crew. Twenty great after using enrage, that's great. Um, basically, it it simply comes down to that. Uh, I have no taste for coffee as a drink or alcohol, and I get told all the time like, oh, you have to have an alcohol beverage you like. What's gonna happen if 
like you're in a job and your your like boss invites you out for casual drinks. Like, what are you gonna do? It's like I'll order a soda. Okay, like is that like a taboo? Is that not okay? Apparently that's not okay. Everyone I've responded to with is like, oh, you can't do that. You've got to find some alcoholic beverage you like because you got to fit in with your boss. You got to smooge. It's like if I am not doing well enough at my job to be able to, you know, have a good relationship with my boss without needing to intentionally drink something I don't like the taste of, that's not really a good sign. Either for them, because that means that they're pretty judgy <laughs> for someone to someone who just prefers not to drink a certain beverage, uh, but also not for me, because that means that I don't have enough value uh, to be worth keeping around and, and promoted uh, on my own merit, right? Now, if I was in a different career, maybe I could see the logic. There are careers, especially business careers, uh, where I know that, that getting that social aspect is very, very important. But I'm in a tech career. I'm in a career where I sit in front of a computer and I do technical work, I run statistics, I do GIS, like I make different kinds of maps. That stuff is all very dependent on your personal skill level and not on whether or not you can make friends at a bar, right? Anyway, enough of this. Not, uh, I, you know, I'm going to digress on that subject entirely. I do not have anything against anyone who likes to drink casually. Not at all, zero percent. My wife likes to have wine every weekend. That's just her thing. She wants a bottle of wine every weekend. If she doesn't have it, she gets cranky. Okay, fine, that's what you like. No big deal, right? But when you're getting to the point, and this is true for coffee too, when you're getting to the point where you're like, it is so unokay that you exist and don't like coffee and alcohol, that we need to introduce a drink that is that doesn't taste strongly of both of them, so you can get the taste for it and then start liking coffee and or alcohol. Like, that's the point where it's just kind of like, this sounds like a cult. Like, <laughs> like it's like, oh, you don't, you, you, you're not, you're not one of us? We need to like ease you in to this because it's important. It's like, no, 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 it's really not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive just fine. And we did lose another resolve there. That was annoying. I'm gonna survive just fine without needing to uh, have an alcoholic beverage that I enjoy. Anyway, enough of that. We uh, did lose a resolve there, even though the chance of getting that uh, check was 60-something percent, so that was a little unlucky. Um, yeah, really unlucky, actually. Hmm. I would like to get Kiwi in here by Kian. But I also want to buff... Oh, I can't buff... Darn. I can't buff Minyoung with Dolores. She doesn't have the right ability. Alright, we're gonna hope that uh, Minyoung rolls high here, I guess. Huh? Oh. And did not. Alright. Um, alternatively, let's get Kiwi in here. Ooh, and Kiwi can't do enough either. That's really unfortunate. Alright. We can try to heal Minyoung. That may be the right idea. We're gonna take a lot of damage this turn. And I am low on resolve at this point. We've we've lost two resolve on this uh, expedition. Fortunately, Kiwi gets extra grit when she uses her AoE, and that did just come into handy. Very much so. Okay, good. Uh, the heal probably was not necessary to keep Minyoung alive, but uh, I'm glad I did it anyway. It probably helped. Let's get Dolores in here, use her AoE, finish off these two. And Minyoung can come back here. We do want to make her excited so that our AoE is a little bit stronger. Uh, so, and let's heal her a little bit. That seems like a good idea as well. Okay, feeling a little bit better. The boss is getting close. Oh, actually got in range. I'm surprised. I didn't think he would uh, be able to do that. Fortunately, he attacked the person in our crew who is the best against physical attacks. Alright, a little bit of damage to Kiwi. Not too bad. Ooh, ah, I didn't think she'd get in range for him and Young. Fortunately, Minyoung survived, but that was a li 
little bit scary. Nice damage there with Cheer Jerker. Huh. That probably is what we want to do. I don't really want to right next to the boss, though. I don't know if I have a choice. I don't think I do. All right. Kiwi. Can Kiwi one-shot this gal? Yes, good. Uh, I definitely want to do that. And then we will use Pain Strike on the boss to make sure that he attacks Dolores. Instead of Mignon. <laughs> Hopefully he does so. Okay, he just buffed himself up. No big deal. And we'll use Loudmouth here to make sure that he attacks uh, Kiwi next turn. As long as we can keep him from attacking Mignon, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, we'll just smack him. That's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, as long as he attacks Kiwi this turn, we'll be in very good shape. We'll finish him off, having lost no one, and that will be great. And a miss, anyway. Kiwi is really hard to hit now. She gets uh, additional plus 20 grit after she uses her normal attack, and she gets plus 30 after she uses her AoE. So she's constantly running at way more grit than she should have. Uh, it's going to make her very, very deceptively tanky. Okay, the smuggler boss is having difficulty keeping it act together, act together and runs away in tears. And we can get the treasure. Your current highest level naturalist or engineer gains plus three study. We don't have either one of them. Yep. Uh, so extra research from Discovery? I guess that's the way to go then. Too bad. Not very good options there. Oh well. Ooh, we got an overall aggressive in that one. That's interesting. Lots of treasure. Treasure, though, that was really good for us, treasure-wise. We're going to end up with uh, three, four, five, six insight from treasures. Not bad. Pretty decent amount of research. We can start our natural sciences tree. That'll be important. And a decent amount of gold as well. Actually, more gold than research. Rival and his crew get a little bit of extra gold because they take care of the elderly. And we will agree not to do two-star expeditions. All right, uh, and we want to send a report to New Orleans to unlock the specialty books. That will be important for us, and we'll move along. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And hopefully, this will be our, uh, our breaking of the streak of defeats here. We've uh, lost several runs in a row. Let's not make this another one, shall we? I'll see you next time in Renowned Explorers.